The way engine cylinders are arranged is called the engine configuration. Inline engines have the cylinders in a line. This design creates a simple to cast engine block. In vehicle applications, the number of cylinders is normally from two up to six. Usually the cylinders are vertical. But some manufacturers lean them to one side. Engines tilted in this way are called slant engines. Tilting an engine reduces its height. This can reduce the height of the bonnet as well, which allows a more streamlined body shape. Tilting can be carried to an extreme by lying the engine completely on its side. It is then called a flat engine. This greatly reduces engine height. As the number of cylinders increases, the length of the block and the crankshaft can become a problem. One way to avoid this is with a V configuration. This design makes the engine block and the crankshaft shorter and more rigid. In vehicle applications, the number of cylinders can vary, usually from 4 up to 12. Common angles between the banks of cylinders are 90 degrees and 60 degrees. V-type engines are wider than inline engines and may also be lower. Horizontally opposed engines have two banks of cylinders, 180 degrees apart on opposite sides of the crankshaft. A useful design when little vertical space is available. It's shorter than a comparable inline engine, but wider than a V-type. A rotary engine uses a rotor in a housing instead of a piston in a cylinder. This provides a very compact power unit.